Happy Friday. The illusion of our separateness never ceases to amaze me, myself included in this forgetful nature of the illusion of separateness, that people won't understand me, that my plight is completely isolated to me, <laughs> that nobody will get it, that nobody's ever been through it or will understand it, and that I'm alone, that I'm isolated, that I'm doomed uh, to the feelings that I feel, maybe not doomed in general, but my plight is a solo plight and you will never understand. Like that, or <laughs> that, or a derivative of that in included with, I don't want to burden anybody with my problems. Or I don't want to expose myself in that nature because then I get in judgment of myself about being weak or incapable, or missing the mark. All this judgment sitting outside myself, you know, being a punitive judge of what I think I should have and what I don't have or where I should be. Playing metaphorically God as opposed to sitting in my presence and understanding that I am just learning. To recognize that we're so similar. You know, the good news is you're not that unique. And the bad news is you're not that unique. I, you know, it's a comfort to know that I'm not going this road alone. Um, whether it's my, you know, sibling or a close friend or someone sometimes that I just meet at a coffee shop that I bump into and, and share an experience with. The willingness to avail some part of our some parts of ourselves to individuals and and connect. I mean this technology is amazing to be able to communicate and relay a message, but it does not substitute for the actual connection that, at least for me, that I get with another individual in person. Texting is fantastic, it saves time, but it's not the intimate connection I get with somebody when I'm looking at them, sitting across a table, having dinner, coffee, whatever. I'm grateful I don't have to do this thing alone. And sometimes I want to because, again, I get afraid that people are going to judge me as I've judged myself or judge myself. And then I remember, oh, yeah, like, don't judge yourself. And throughout the day, it's a series of remembrances for me. Remembering, remembering where I've... And I think that's a, true for everything <laughs> from when I was born to now remembering that I am part of something bigger, that we, that we're bigger than we. We are a whole, a mass, a source, and we're all connected. I think that's the beauty of it all. The irony and, uh, yeah, the tragedy is we forget, and the beauty is we can remember. Much love.